So now that we went over to the fire blast, make sure that the fire blast is selected. We got to go over to the fire blast first and not the barrier itself. So make sure that the fire blast is selected. Okay. All right. So now to start off, we select, we go to events, and we select when green flag clicked. This is always important. This is always important. So again, just so that this code start off at the at the beginning of the game. And now um we go to looks and we set we click on this command that says set size to hundred percent. We put it underneath when green flag clicked. So basically what this command does again is that um just sets the size of the of the sprites of the fire blast. So so in our case I'm just going to put it to 50%, just like the enemy sprite. Now, since we're in the looks, in the looks on um, block, we go to um high where it says high, and we drag it underneath, set size to 50%. So fire blast is going to remain invisible until you try to spawn the fire blast with the key with the specific key you're, you're going to use. So for now, we got to control. We got to wait one second. We're going to leave it to one. So basically what this command does is, um, again, um, it's going to, so when you start the game, you're gonna have to wait one second to before before you can use the fire blast. So it's pretty much like a cooldown. It's just in the beginning of the game. And now, uh, now we've got a control, and we drag down this command that says forever. Put it right here, and now we drag this command here that says if then. Put it underneath forever. Now we had to go ahead and go to sensing. We had to, to set up the 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 key for it to to spawn the the fire blast now. So this is going to be the command to set up the key, the specific key. So if you want to set up the key, we're gonna go. We're gonna get drag, drag this command that says key space press. Drag it down and put it inside of them. So you can basically just spawn. If you want to spawn the fire blast, you can basically choose any error. So just make sure it's not it's not the same. It's not the same keys that we use for the movement of the character. Make sure it's not that because we already have those selected, and it's gonna be it's gonna be like a mess at the end if we select the same keys that we used before. So the space the space key is not it hasn't been selected yet. So that's when it's that one is good to go. We can use this one too for for the fire blast. So, so to the now we go to control again, and we're gonna drag this command that says create clone myself. Put gonna put it underneath F T space. So the, we're gonna we're gonna leave it like myself. Don't need to touch this. All right. So now, so now, what the forever does is like the forever is gonna like make sure the fire blast um the fire blast like spawns forever and not once. And the create clone of myself is basically just gonna create multiple multiple clones of the, of the fire blast, right? Like. Like each time you um press the space bar, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna pop in always, no matter what, instead of points. So that's what the forever command does. All right, so now we're going to control again. And we set this to when I start this clone. Gonna scroll down a bit to have a bit of space. 
So basically what this code does, it's that it is the code of the firewalls that's on when you press space. All right, so now we're gonna motion. And we select this command that says go to random position. Put it underneath when it starts to clone. So this we're gonna we're gonna select um we're gonna select this to hero. So basically what this does is that the go to hero command is gonna have the fireball start at the hero's position. Like when you try to press a key to spawn the fire blast, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna spawn at the at the at the um hero's position. So now we get a looks and we still let the command assess show. We put it underneath to go hero. So we still let the show command because the fireball, the fire blast starts out hiding. And we might and we want to make sure it appears once the space bar is first. So now that that's done, we go to control. You track down forever, put it underneath show. So the reason we're using the forever command is that so so that the fireballs will stop moving. So now we got a motion, and we set. We still let this come in that says move 10 steps. We put it underneath forever. We're gonna leave it as 10 steps because basically this command is gonna set the fireball speed. Like, like it's gonna set the, the speed that the fireballs are going, whether it's slow or, or fast. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm, we're, gonna, we're just gonna leave it like normal, not too fast. So, all right, so now we get to the control um, bar. And we select this command that says if then, we drag it underneath, move 10 steps. We go to operator now. And we select blank um, greater than 50. Let's put it right inside of them. We got a motion now. And we select the expos where it says expos exposition. Drag it right here. And the value, we're going to set it to 220. So now we're going to check the fireball go to the right side of the screen. So like 220 is the position of the right side of the screen. So now that we gotta now we gotta go to the control now. And we select this command that says delete this clone. So the clones, the delete this clones um, command is gonna delete this fireball sprite once it goes to the right side of the screen. All right, guys, we're now done with the fireball. Now we're going to start the game. So you guys, so, so we can see how it looks so far. So you can see the rockets, all of them are moving. The only four, only four rockets are moving. The key, the key roll is moving right now. And as you can see, the fire blast is working. We can shoot the fire blast and destroy the rockets. Just so you can see they're popping out. And we're also, we're also getting points as well. And the game over. And the whole game literally stopped. So that, that we're going good so far. Now we're going to start with the parrot now. So first 
we're going to use the green flag, which is on events, drag it down to the workspace. So for users to just start this code at the beginning of the game. Then we'll use a show block to make sure the pair is visible, which should be a good looks. Down underneath with green flag is put. And now we're gonna track down the command sets that size to 100. And we're gonna change the size to 50%. Now we'll use to go to the X and Y block filling position. So then should be in motion. And drag it down. And we put it underneath set size to set go up to X. And we're gonna set this to 240. And on operators. We're going to go to pick random from one to 10. So we're going to set the values to 100, negative 50, 150, and 150. So this, so pretty much this is going to start as some random position between the top and the bottom of the screen. So now we're gonna set up the speed again. But we gotta go to variables. So we're gonna drag this command that says set score to zero. We're gonna drag it underneath here, go to X number 40. And instead of score, we're gonna set it to speed. And we're we're gonna go to operators now, and we gotta pick this command again. Pick random to one to ten. Put it inside. Set to speed. And this time we're gonna put it again to negative two, to negative eight. Same as so we're gonna set the speed same as rockets. So now the movement is the same as the rocket. So I will show you how to copy the code from the rocket to the parrot. So we're going to go, we're going to go to the rocket now. Select the rocket, and right here we're between forever. We're gonna go ahead and drag this code right right here. We're gonna drag it from here, and as you can see, we can pretty much. Move them, move the code where we want. In this case, we're going to put it to the parrot. Now, the parrot, we're going to go to click on the parrot now. And as you can see, the code, all the code is in the parrot now. All the code is in the parrot. So we're going to go to the parrot again. And all of this, all of these commands are going to go underneath set speed to pick random to negative B. All right. So the only thing we have to change is when we hit the parrot, we lose 10 points instead. So we just need to change the score by negative 25 instead. So as you can see, you change score by 50. Put that to negative 25. Now that the game is complete, let's try it out, yo. So as you can see, we can destroy the commands so parents are moving. And if you hit a parrot, you lose 25 points. So you, you gotta try to avoid the parrot as, as possible. Only destroy the rockets. You will gain points if you destroy the rockets. You lose points if you try to hit the parrots. 
So as you can see, I have a score of 2,500, which is not bad. You stop the game, it stopped everything, and it just reset the score back there. So, hope you had fun in this tutorial.